Hi you guys, hi friends, welcome back to my channel if you are new here, welcome. So today I am doing a, another palette review for you guys, none other than the Makeup by Mario, which I am so excited to break into and give you guys my thoughts on. I won't keep you all too long here in the intro because I am just super excited to share my thoughts with you guys on this palette. I have the Masters Matte Palette, which we will be reviewing today. And yeah, without further ado, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up for me. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, turn on those notification bells, and we can hop right in. Okay, you guys, so I just wanted to start off by saying I have used this palette before, so if it looks a little bit broken into, it's because I already broke into it. But I did just want to show you guys the packaging that it comes in. It is this very sleek, just plain, nothing too crazy and exciting. And inside we have the palette, which is, I would say, showing the same energy. Yeah, so I mean, I'm really into packaging. I'm more into product performance, but I'm really into packaging. Um, I have to say, this color shade for mattes is really, really beautiful and it is a great neutral palette. So far, like first impressions when I saw this was very, very, very practical. I think that that is like the best word to possibly describe this palette because that's exactly what it is. And so Mario is a professional makeup artist, as I'm sure you guys know if you follow his work. He does celebrity makeup and just does an amazing job at it. He's a phenomenal makeup artist. And when makeup artists typically, when they make a product, they normally gear it towards makeup artists because they know what they need. So the first thing that I'm thinking about when I see this was, Wow, this is a good palette for a makeup artist for a lot of reasons. So if you are an actual makeup artist, and this is just like by looking at it, this is not about product performance, this isn't about anything else other than first impression, looking at the case and everything like that, is you have all of these great neutral colors, which every single makeup artist needs. However, and this is the number one thing that I, I think that so many people who are not professional or traveling makeup artists don't really like know the value of is this thing is very compact. This thing is small. This thing like right here is my hand and like compared to my face, like this is a tiny little palette. So it could fit in anybody's kit, which I think for the demographic that Mario is going for, it's really great by first looking at it, you know? Let's get into product performance now, guys. So the actual look that I'm doing today doesn't really matter as much. It's more about how these products perform, the pigmentation, and just the overall, uh, how they blend, the quality of them, and all that good stuff. So, you know, I think I am going to start off by going into this shade right over here. And so another thing that makes this very practical, and this is a very, like, professional makeup artist amazing thing to do is that these shades don't have names they just have numbers so this is shade one two three four five and so on um which i think is really just great for a professional makeup artist so we're just taking my sigma e55 into that shade and I am, and I've already prepped my eyes obviously and my face and I'm just kind of gonna like create a swoosh kind of. But again, the look really doesn't matter. Okay, so with mattes, you definitely need to build up a lot of product. This is applying quite nicely though for just a first impressions I know that I haven't blended it with another color yet and I'm just stamping right now. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so just the first impressions. And so for this look, I know I told you guys I did break into this palette. I did use some of the darker shades. I'm trying to use shades that I haven't used so much in my other look that I did. And those are some of the lighter colors. Just the pigmentation on this is really, really good. I'm excited to see how it blends with the other colors because the other ones did blend very nicely when I used them before. So I am really excited for that. But so far I feel like this is looking really smooth and really nice and I'm excited to see how they work with the other colors. Okay, so, so far I do really like the product performance. I know I'm only using one shade and I'm gonna go in with this shade, the slider one and just my Fenty blending brush and I'm going to kind of just blend that out a little bit, make it a little bit softer, but I don't wanna disrupt that shape too much. So another thing looking at this palette and really trying to understand the product performance a little bit better, for who it's geared toward, it's really amazing for who it's geared toward. So I think by the end of this, when I give you guys my final thoughts, I'm gonna give it maybe like two or three different ratings depending on who you are and what your needs are for a palette. And then I'm gonna rate it one to 10 from there. So I'm just taking this shade, like I said, and I'm just buffing that out a little bit. This is a beautiful, this is a really beautiful shade actually i wasn't expecting it to translate like this it does look kind of yellowy in the pan but it does have that like very oh this is really really beautiful it's like a yellowy brown and i'm smoking that out a little bit Okay, so I feel like this is so easy to blend that it's almost too easy to blend. So a lot of formulas are not this easy to blend, especially with colors this pigmented. So matte colors are a little bit, um, and these are the lighter colors, but matte colors, you really need to build up that product because it's very easy to make a matte look just look like absolute, like mush together like all of your colors are just mushed together and that's caused by over blending so a palette like this i feel like you have to be careful with it if you are say like a makeup like guru or you're just like someone who's really into makeup who's used to like blending to a t you know what i mean you don't need that much blending and you have to be very careful with this not to over blend i feel like if that makes sense to you guys, because there's a very high possibility because this is so easy to blend that it could just end up mixing together all your colors. That makes sense. Am I making sense to you guys? I hope so. <laughs> I hope I don't sound illiterate. Yeah, so this is still blending like a absolute dream. I'm just gonna go in with a flat tip brush and I'm going to go in with this shade right over here. I guess this is number three. And I'm just going to apply that on my lid, but kind of on the, the outer end. And I'm just keeping that, trying to keep as best I can that shape. But again, the look that I'm doing is like not really so important. It's more of a review for you guys. Do you guys see how much of a difference that makes between this eye and this eye? I really hope that you can, and I barely really applied anything. And this is not even the lightest shade. It's, I mean, it's one of the light shades, but it's definitely not the lightest. Number one is the lightest, and it still brightens up my eyes so much, I feel. Now I'm just taking another flat tip brush and I'm going in with this lightest shade over here, which is shade number one. And I am applying that not only to like my inner corner area, but I'm also going kind of 
dragging that underneath and brightening up where my lash line is. So now I am just going to be taking my MAC Coffee Eyeliner and I'm going to be going in between my two water lines and just kind of connecting that to what we made very, very slightly. This is not meant to be like a super dramatic look and it's not going to be. Obviously, it's really matte. It's really like a nude kind of look. So just adding a little tiny little bit of drama, just a tiny little bit, not a whole lot. And I'm just taking an angled brush and I'm going to connect and defuse this little pencil liner that we did. Okay, now guys, I'm just gonna be taking this shade four over here and going along my lower lash line. And I'm also just slightly connecting this little blown out area to my little, no, it's not a wing. I, I wouldn't like call it a wing, but it's definitely outward a little bit. I'm going for not so much a super cat eye-ish look today, but I do want my eyes to look more almondy than normal. So depending on your eye shape, it is not going to be very complimentary to you uh, to connect this right here, depending on like the size of your eye and all that stuff. So find out what works for you. Again, today is not really about the look itself. It's more of like a review on the palette. And I do have to say that this is like the quickest makeup job I, I have like ever done. This thing is so, 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 so quick because it just blends so effortlessly and easy. Okay friends, so I'm just gonna throw on some lashes and some highlight off camera and then I'll be right back to give you guys my final thoughts. Alrighty friends, so I am back and I am ready to give you guys my final thoughts on this palette. So I am going to be rating it three different ways and each rating is going to get a scale from 1 to 10. Now I am starting off with the Pro MUA, so I am going to rate this for professional makeup artists who do makeup on other people, basically. Um, I would give this a solid solid rating for y'all for a couple of reasons because this basically is a very essential color story. I feel like almost every single makeup artist has or if they don't have they need this type of color story within their kit. And so basically if you're not a pro makeup artist, if you're not a pro MUA, a kit is your makeup that you take with you to do makeup on other people. So depending on what you're doing that day, you take what you need. This type of palette is normally, if not all the time, stays in that kit. And I really, really, I don't think that people understand how important it is to be so small and compact. And I think that he's done an excellent job mario with that because he is a professional makeup artist and like i said before what you see very often is when a professional makeup artist has their own brand they tend to really understand what a pro mua needs and their product reflects that for product performance for everything so this is extremely practical it is really, if you are uh, in the market for a new nude palette, I think that this one is a really good choice. I, I think it is great. I would though 
give this baby, I would say a nine out of 10 and not a 10 out of 10 because it is $48. <laughs> this is $48, okay, which I, okay, so I always would say this to any profession ever, whether you're a makeup artist, whether you are selling a product, anything, you charge the price that you think you deserve and that's it. It is your brand, it is your service, it is your product. You decide. People can complain about it, but guess what? That's tough, honey. Like, you create the price that you think that you deserve for the product that you are providing or service. So who am I to say that this is too expensive? Because Mario is a professional makeup artist, and do I personally think that this is on the level product performance, solely product performance wise as like Charlotte Tilbury or Pat McGrath? No, I do not. Do I think it is a better product performance than let's say like one of the super Instagram-y like Huda Beauty, a lot of their shadows? Yes, I do think that this is higher quality as far as the formula goes, as far as product performance goes, right? There's not saying that there's not like beautiful Huda products. I, I love Huda Beauty. I have a lot of her stuff and a lot of her palettes also, but I mean, that's just my personal opinion. You might get this and think like, wow, this is the best thing ever. This is <laughs> this is uh, definitely worth the $48. And that's fine, that's your opinion. This is just mine. Nothing wrong with anything that you guys think about this palette. The next person who I'm going to be rating this for is the, let's say, YouTuber or beauty guru type makeup artist. So <sighs> when you are, a YouTuber like myself, or you are super into makeup and you are just like obsessed with the makeup community, at which I definitely am, you know, I feel like you tend to already own palettes that have this color story, but also along with this color story, have a wider range of colors in there as well. So you tend to get palettes that are very large, like the James Charles palette, and Things that are very bold, colors that are very, very bold. So I would not risk, I, I wouldn't, I don't wanna, so the thing is I don't wanna discourage you guys if you wanna try this palette, you go for it. I'm not trying to discourage you. However, I wouldn't recommend it because, and, and this is just my opinion, because I feel like for $48, you already have these colors and I would say that you're not really gonna use it as much as you think. You're gonna use your other palettes that you know and that you're used to and that you like that already have these colors. And I, uh, it was not geared toward this demographic, to be completely honest with you. This, this was not even made with like the YouTuber or beauty guru in mind. This was made with pro MUAs. And I would say more of like the average person, let's say, that's not so into makeup, I, I would say that this is more geared towards them. It's, it's not geared towards people who are super into, you know, like cut creases and very like bold, dramatic rainbow kind of colors. It's just not, it's not for you. You know what I mean? Um, so with that being said, I, I don't think that I can give this even a fair rating. I would say honestly, maybe like a three out of 10 for the beauty guru because I don't wanna discourage you guys and it is good quality. It's not like it's not a, a bad quality product. I just don't think that you have any use for it if you already have a large makeup collection. It's just, there's no, there's no reason for you to spend $48 on 12 nude shades when you already have very similar nude shades that you've probably spent plenty of money on. This is not like a cheap palette, you know? And then my next rating, so that was like three, let's do a three out of 10. That's being kind of generous. I don't even feel like I should give this a rating. And then for my last rating, I'm gonna be doing like the average human being that's not super into makeup, like a YouTuber or Instagrammer or influencer type thing but you still like to look pretty, you know? Like you like to look nice, you like to put yourself together, you like to do your makeup. And this thing, I'm not even kidding you, if I was not talking throughout this tutorial, I would have had my makeup done in five minutes. 
I am not even kidding you. This thing blends like a dream. It is just the easiest. It is so easy to use. This thing is stupid easy to use. And you can create really beautiful looks that are not too dramatic. And you know what? The darker shades in here, if you wanted to make it more dramatic, you could. You have a lot of options. If you want to just have an everyday type makeup look, you don't want to do anything too crazy, or even if you wanted to do a more dramatic, kind of like smokier eye, you have the option to do that. It's totally up to you. So, I would rate this, I would say an eight out of 10 for that demographic, because again, and I keep mentioning this, but it's $48. And so that's the thing is that this is not Makeup by Mario, not yet. I'm sure it will evolve into that. It's geared towards professional makeup artists. It is not a luxury brand, right? This is not a like people buy it, to experience luxury, to like feel the silkiness of the powder. This is for practicality. This is exactly who that is geared toward. It's professional makeup artists. This is not like you buy this to experience like the the elegance and the beauty of it. It's not, it's not like that. It's not like a Charlotte Tilbury type, uh, Chanel type brand. It's just not that. It's not geared towards that demographic and that's fine. That's totally fine. So that's why I'm bumping it down a little bit because it's $48 without that like luxury brand type feel. And for the average human being, I feel like if you were going to spend that much on a palette, it would have to be a luxury palette for the average like human. And when I say average, I'm not talking about like average looking, average this, average that. I'm talking about someone with an average level of interest in makeup and the beauty community, let's say that. And another reason why I am deducting one point from this is because the shades in here are so easy to blend that it's very easy to over blend. And it's very easy for your makeup to come out looking kind of mushed together, kind of like, think of like mashed potatoes and gravy. You know what I mean? Like there's, I know that that's like a weird example, but the colors actually you have like lighter colors if you mush together mashed potatoes and gravy too much eventually what's going to happen is just going to become one big light brown mushy delicious but mushy mess and the same thing can happen when you over blend so you do just have to be a little bit careful with that i feel like if you have even a little bit of an idea uh, of how makeup works and, and how to blend and all that stuff, you should be fine. It's not like crazy amounts, but it, it's easy. It's easy to cross that, to cross that line. So that's it guys for Prom UAs, nine for YouTubers, three and for the average human being, I'm gonna give this an eight. Those are my thoughts. Those are my final thoughts. Let me know what you guys think of this palette down below in my comment section. If you have it, if you wanna try it, let me know if you disagree with any of my ratings. I would love to hear your feedback on this palette. I am always interested in improving my content the best that I possibly can for you guys. So I would love to hear from you about that. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and this review. Cannot wait to hang out with you guys next time. So without further ado, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up for me. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, turn on those notification bells, and I cannot wait to hang out with you guys next time. Bye.